This is Danasuchus, the terrible crocodile. Danasuchus had large, strong teeth and a broad, flat snout built for crushing its prey. And although it usually went after marine reptiles, it would occasionally go on land and hunt dinosaurs. This guy is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go through the subspecies right quick. This one we have is 5% turn, 5% turn in place, and 5% stamina. Our next one has 3% armor and 3% attack, 4% land speed and 6% stamina, 5% water speed, 5% attack in water, 8% armor, minus 4% speed, 5% attack, 10% bone break, and minus 5% speed, minus 20% turn and stamina, minus 15% carry and attack, and minus 40% bone break, and then back to our original. Here's the female skin, or brown instead of our green. And now we're gonna take a look at the colors right quick. Here is our broadcast. That's a beast right there. Two call. Okay, okay. Threaten. Absolutely monstrous. Our four call. Talk. I'm not sure what this button is. Oh, a shake, okay. It's our sniff. Ooh, I'm not sure, it might not be a, what I thought it was. Let's check this one out. Maybe like a territorial call. This one. I bet you it's like a mating call. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. All right. And then our invite is the same as the two call. All right, here is our baby model. He looks absolutely cute, like super adorable. Just take a look at this guy right here. We're gonna go through the calls right quick. Here is our broadcast. <laughs> He's so cute. Two call. Threaten. <laughs> He's got next to no teeth. They're just little needles. Four call. Okay. Talk. We got a uh, shake. We got this one. Look around. <laughs> oh, he looks ridiculous. Territory. And then I'm assuming it's the mating ritual display. <laughs> but it's weird for like a baby gator to have that. So, and invite is the same as a two call. So let's take a look at the movement of this guy. It's our walk. He walks really fast, actually. A run. <laughs> He's just gliding. All right, let's check out our swim right quick. Here we go. He is underwater. Even our speed swim, you know. All right, and here is our adult model. This dude is absolutely massive. You can see all the muscle, all the strength cold into this little body right here. A big body. Let's go through our animations right quick. First, we have our walk. Jesus, look at that. You can just see how much width this thing weighs. Let's see how much he runs. Oh, he's not fast at all on land. Not at all. He's just a heavy boy. And here is the precise movement. Our turn. Like that. And we go back to the side. <laughs> it's probably better to just turn in place. I'm looking at it. Dana Sugas doesn't seem to have a drinking animation. Like I tried to drink, but I couldn't. So either it's disabled or it may just be that you get water from being in the water like you know most semi-aquatic creatures do which is pretty cool if that's the thing i is glad that i don't have to actually worry about the quality of the water so here we go this is just our regular so swim man look at that he's got a thick powerful tail his jaw muscle is right here and the speed swim even that isn't that fast to be honest you have definitely a chance of getting away if you run into 
Adana Sukas. Or at least, you know, if he speeds me. All right, let's see. He looks so good. Wait, look at him. All right, it looks like he already is taking a seat, but let's see if we can have a better resting animation. So we're gonna sit. Yeah, okay, we put our head down and everything. And then our sleep animation. There we go. He opens his mouth real wide, taking a siesta in the sun. I'm sure they're going to work on the <laughs> arms disappearing into the rock bit. But other than that, this guy looks absolutely beautiful. Then our get up. Yep, back to our resting position. This guy is so heavy. He doesn't have any, of course, jumps or crouching because he's not capable of doing that. But we're going to take a look at our skins right quick. All right. And this is the default female skin that you're looking at right now. Then we have American, Granite, Musa, Bloodstripe, Dune, Forestal, Piebald, Muddy, Squids Tabby, Clover, Albino, Melanistic, and the Elder. Ooh. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, Divine Beast? It looks really good, though. I love the purple eyes. We're going to check out the abilities right quick. We have our bites, which causes medium damage. Then we have shell crusher deals a low amount of damage, but ignores armor and weight of target more damage to larger armored creatures and less to smaller creatures. Then we have shattering snap, charge up the attack and inflict bone break based on how long it's held. Then we have clamp, bite and hold on to enemies as long as your stem allows, can move and drag them around. Then we have our senses. We have nictating membrane, see clearer underwater, drenched blows, deal 10% increased damage to wet targets, and then crepuscular. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Gain 15% increased damage and high acceleration between dusk and dawn. So nice time and then for our front limbs we have 90 degree right bite causes medium damage and then we have 90 degree left bite causes medium damage that's interesting i want to see that for metabolism we have fisher can eat meat and fish moderate food drain steviation can eat meat fish bones slows down the metabolism of the crocodilian and the cost of stamina and speed only good for staying in one place for a long time you should take it off when you're done with dormancy opportunistic feeder can eat meat fish shellfish and bones able to store up food greatly but requires more sustenance as well and then terror croc diet can eat meat fish shellfish and bones eat almost constantly this diet this diet allows the dana sucus to stay alert with this increased movement acceleration of 50 percent amplifies the time it takes to get to full sprint and stops in all habitats interesting that is very interesting we're going to leave that alone for this our legs we have lunge lunge forward and bite anything in the way works only in the water and then we have ambush ambush ashore and grab whatever can fit in your jaws also only works in the water back limb 180 degree right bite and 180 degree left bite insane i'm excited to see these and then hide i totally skipped over it resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30 percent and then ectothermic basking hide increases stamina regeneration by 30 percent during the day when resting or sleeping that's pretty good we'll also leave that alone for now though and then tail we have tail attack the tail attack that deals light damage and not back death roll violently death roll and significantly snap away the victim's oxygen only works in the water and on grabbed dinos so it's definitely a combo move that you want to use here uh we're gonna grab that because we definitely have to see it and we're gonna go through our ability animations right quick here is bite Ooh, that's a nice loud crisp popping sound one more time bite Oh, and then we have shell crusher. Ooh, just like a longer, harder bite. Next, we have shattering snap. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, that is absolutely a bone crushing move right there. Look how wide that mouth opens. You can see him using all the jaw muscles right there. And then he also has that new ability clamp that we just got from the last update. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little shaky boy when using it. I like it. Now we have left 90 degree bite. Ooh, oh my gosh. And you stay pointed that direction. Right 90 degree bite. Oh, okay. Let's look at that from the front. Left 90 degree bite. Right 90 degree bite. Then we have left 180 degree bite. Ooh, I love it. Oh, it's so good, guys. This is going to be so much fun to play. And then we got right 180 degree bite. So somebody comes up and tries to attack you. You're like, uh-uh, I see you coming up on my left side. So you use left 180 degree bite. Wow, look at that. 
and then oh they keep running around you because they want to bite you where your tail is so you use riot 80 degree bite then we have our tail attack Ooh, that's pretty smooth there's actually more bones in this tail than like other Danasuchus, crocodilian like you know what i'm talking about okay there's more bones in this tail for the model so that is not so like eh, you know it actually has some force and some weight behind that tail attack there and then here's our lunge ability oh that was kind of hard to see because of the water particles so we're going to try that again all right let's lunge oh okay there we go that's way scarier <laughs> you can't see it from the back because of all the water particle effects all right so now we have ambush which you know let's say there's a dino up there on the shore and then we just like surprise <laughs> i love it i love it it's so good all right and then the death roll move is a combo move so you have to have clamp here first so like that and then you can press your other button that you have tethered to death roll them once you get them in the water. Can't use it on land. It's only a water-based moment. I'll probably insert a clip of me using it somewhere in this video at some point. <laughs> so just make sure that if you want to use death roll, you have clamp also activated as an ability first. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it for our friend Dana Sukas here. It looks really fun to play and probably the most crocodilian mod I've seen so far. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.